What's cracking gamers? It is 8 40 p.m. on a Monday and I don't know why but I was sitting in the shower and I was just really in the mood to vlog and I have some things that I'm doing tomorrow so I was like well might as well make a vlog. I don't know exactly what this is gonna be called probably something along the lines of like day in the life of a high school student or something. Anyways as I said I just got out of the shower. If you don't know or if you haven't heard me mention it a trillion times i have been sick for like a month i had mono i just, i've literally said this so much mono takes a while to go away i remember when i first said on my instagram that i had it this girl dm'd me and was like i just got over mono after having it for eight months so that terrified me it's kind of like a slow process of going away so i was pretty lucky after like week three i started feeling better this morning i woke up and my tonsils are really swollen and my throat was kind of hurting and i have a cough i tried to lay low today a little bit this last week i've done more more work than I have in like two months. I don't know. I think that's kind of like catching up to me and my body was like, hmm, good one, dude. Relax a little bit. I've been trying to do like little self-care things, if you will. Not anything crazy. I don't know. When you feel sick, your confidence just isn't very high. Even just small things like putting on lotion after I shower, which I haven't done yet, but I need to. Before I really get started with this video, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. I have known about Function of Beauty for such a long time. They've worked with my sister for like a while. I remember at my old house, I remember seeing her have the these bottles like in the shower and I thought it was like the coolest thing because they like had her name on it and stuff. I know how Oh, it does have my name on it. Since my mom is a former hairstylist, I like grew up understanding how important it is to take care of your hair. That is why I really like these. It's hard to find specific shampoo and conditioner for your hair. Like I have pretty basic hair, but not everyone does. These are completely customizable. The formula is unique for everyone. No two bottles have ever been the same. Basically what you do is you take a little like two minute quiz describing your hair and like your hair goals. So I think for mine, I did strength and volume because my hair can be pretty flat. You can pick literally everything. You can even pick the color and the scent. Um, I remember I've had this before and it was pink, but I wanted blue. Um, they have a few different scents. You can do like strong, light, or medium. These are also 100% vegan and cruelty free because y'all know my vegetarian self doesn't like to use products that cause any harm to animals. So if you would like to check out Function of Beauty, they are the best and they are just so awesome and I really love their brand. I would not be promoting them if I genuinely did not like them. So if you would like to get 20% off, you can go check out the link down below. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to do a few little self self-care things if you will. I'm gonna shower. You just showered. I'm gonna put some lotion on and put some self tanner on. Yeah, just doing a few little things before I go to bed so I will feel better in the morning. <laughs> To make this video a little bit less boring, I wanted to voice over the parts where I am like not really speaking. Dude, what are you doing? You can come in my room. Dude, do you not want to come in? <laughs> okay, anyways, had to incorporate that, you know, valid footage. Anyways, I'm back, what's cracking? So, um, here I'm just, you know, getting ready for bed, doing my little night routine, brushing my hair. <laughs> um, so this night I actually played my Switch before I went to sleep. I, you know, I'm a gamer girl, it's whatever. Um, if you're looking for a game recommendation, Breath of the Wild is where it's at. Good morning. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been like losing my voice over the past couple days. Oh my god. I like sound so weird. It is 7.30. My school usually starts at 7.30, but on Tuesdays for some reason it starts at 8.30. Not complaining. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is shower just to rinse off like my self tan. And then I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna make some celery juice. Like it tastes like water with an aftertaste of celery when celery just tastes like water. If I drink that in the morning, then I'm motivated for the rest of the day to like eat healthier. So I'm gonna try and start doing that. Ooh. Ashley, best dress, don't be threatened by this basic fit. Um, anyways, shirts, Brandy Melville, pants are American Eagle, and shoes are Nike. <laughs> makeup time this day because i was filming um i actually wore quite a lot more than i usually would most days i don't even wear makeup whatsoever Ugh, i wish you guys could i wish i could like play music because i was jamming to some olivia o'brien um but anyways don't want to get copyrighted so i just have on some brow gel some highlighter some blush and then mascara you know all the basic stuff <laughs> Here's
here's me chilling in the Subaru on my way to school. Don't worry, I was being safe while driving and filming. But anyways, here's what outside looked like that day. I made it to school. I'm late. <laughs> I had some other uh, stuff I needed to film this morning. I feel bad. I'm literally late to this class like every single time. And my teacher is always like, oh. Disappointed, but like not surprised. I have three classes today. Normally, I would have four on this day if you can't homeroom as a class, but because it's Tuesday, we don't. Tuesday is the only day that we don't have homeroom. See you inside. See you inside. The mountains looked really pretty that day, so I decided to film it and put it in this video. They were very snowy. Anyways, first period is digital media. I literally did not do anything in this class because I already had my assignment done. So now into second period, I usually don't take notes on paper because we just always do everything like on our computer. My teacher wanted us to take paper notes today, which was different. I am such, did I even say I was in English? I don't know. I am such an English nerd. It's almost stupid. <laughs> Shout out to my girl Claire that sits next to me. She always has pretzels on deck and I just really appreciate it. I just finished with English. English is my favorite class, but now I am going to math, which I suck at math, so it's not my favorite, but. <laughs> the only clip I got in math class was me listening to Brockhampton and then putting all my stuff away. I had to catch the train right after school, so I went from school straight to the train station. So here's me, you know, busting out of school. I've realized I feel my feet a lot, so that's kind of weird. I hope you enjoyed that little, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that footage, edit it into like a little school montage, I don't know. I am done with school for the day, I am heading to the train station now, because I got a train to catch. Did I even bring my water? Did I leave it at home? Oh no, it's down here. I bring my water bottle with me to school every single day, and today I left it in my car, so I was like dying of thirst, literally. I shouldn't say that, but I was very thirsty all day. <sighs> You know when you like finally drink water for like the first time and you can feel it like going down your throat and then like in your stomach? Me too. Okay, I'll see you. See you at the train station. The walk to the train is the worst thing ever because you have to go up literally three flights of stairs. Oh my god. No lie, walking up those stairs literally feels like I just ran the mile in PE. But anyways, so... Um, I got on the train. I went down south just to, you know, hang out with some friends and stuff. I actually really like taking the train instead of driving. It's just a lot more convenient and while I'm actually on the train, I can edit and just do whatever I need to. Thank God. It was really overcast and not very pretty outside today, so I was kind of sad. Anyways, what's cracking? Ashley literally watching Best Dress, one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Um, Ashley, if you're watching this, I love you. So on the train, I usually do editing or I usually edit. That's what I usually do. I had like three videos to edit. I don't know what I was editing in this video, um, but I think I was editing. What was I editing? I literally don't know and I can't remember. I either edit or I play my Switch. I was playing Breath of the Wild. Actually, psych. I was not. It wasn't even on. It was just for the clip. And then I had a call with my manager and then I got off the train and then, yeah. <laughs> I made it. The last time I took the train, it was so disgustingly windy and cold outside, but it's not as bad today, so um, I'm just chilling. <laughs> The next day since I last filmed. I don't really know what this video was. I guess it was a day in my life. Once I got down south, I played Paper Mario for hours. I am not messing with you. Once I got food, uh, it was Mario time. <laughs> I don't like that. This is just like a weird little random thing, but I just thought I would share. So when I was younger, I know I've been talking about video games a lot, but like, I don't know, it's just been what I've been super interested in. So it's just like what I talk about. But when I was younger, I grew up watching my brother play this game called Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. It's on like GameCube, but I was not allowed to play it because my brother was rude. And if he bought it, it was his game. Therefore, I was not allowed to play it because he was scared that I was going to interfere with something and somehow mess something up, which is valid because I have done multiple times. Same thing with my little brother when he would get mad at 
either me or my older brother, he would go on our games and like erase our files, which was literally the end of the world. Like if he did that to me today, I would still be just as furious as like my 10 year old self would be. Anyways, so I grew up watching my brother, my older brother play this game and I loved it. Like that was the best part of my week was watching him play this game. I like had this sudden realization a month ago that I was like, I have like all of my favorite video games I didn't play, I watched my brother play. That's what I've been doing with all of my free time is just playing video games. I played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for so, that is what I did all day. I sat and played Paper Mario and it was the best day ever. Like I, I literally had the best time. Um, But anyways, it's the next day. I just want to end this vlog. I tried to, I mean, I haven't started editing yet, but going in just with the footage that I have, I'm like, okay, kind of like trying to make this like little artsy, like cutesy vibes, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I literally look like a crackhead. Anyways, thank you for watching. I don't know when this video is going up, but I still hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you had the best day ever. Anyways, I'm going to start editing this video. Um, once again, thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. All the links and stuff like that will be down below. That was just a little day in my life being an average 16 year old high schooler person. Also, this is not an everyday thing. I'm like trying to make this look all cute. My life is not perfect, you know? I'm not like getting on aesthetic little train rides every day. <laughs> you feel? <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.